Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about the anti bleed or the Y connector. That what is an anti bleed or a Y connector? This is called anti bleed or Y connector. Have a look. So this side goes to the catheter to the patient, and this side towards the operator or the doctor. Why this is called the Y connector on the anti bleed? Because this one can be used for the multi-purpose, like it can be used for the interventional purpose like you can load the wire balloon and stunt here is a hemostatic valve that's why it's known as the anti-bleed the reason being it prevents from bleeding and here is a straightener as you can see or style it needle just to shape the wire the tip of the interventional wire actually the one which is used for the coronary and this is called manipulator or the torquer so these are the components of the Y connector. Now I will show you how to use it. Now I will show you how to connect it. So make sure this is not connected to the patient. Assuming this catheter is a guiding catheter inside the patient, inside the sheet, and this tip is out. So do not connect it unless you make it ready. So how to make it ready? This is the manifold, which you have already made it ready. Just take this connection, attach it here. This port, as I mentioned in the last video as well, that this side is closed. So make it open to the uh, operator side and the patient side. Once you open it, now the question is how to make it air free. It's very easy. Come back here. So as we mentioned in the last video, just turn this one off towards the pressure side. This is a pressurized saline bag. Just open it towards the patient. So now you will see all the saline will come out and the air will be free from here. So once the air is free from here, this is one side, just keep it this way up to make it air free. Once it's air free, just put your finger here and turn it around and press this one to remove the air and make it air free. Then after that, once it's done, right, just close it and then close the saline from here again. So once you are close the saline, then make it pressure open. Now this anti bleed or this Y connector is now ready. So once it's ready, what you can do, you can, do, you can make it a fluid to fluid phenomena, attach it to the catheter, which is already inside the patient. After this, once you connect it, the operator should open it towards the operator side and need to aspirate. So aspiration is most important to take the blood out. You will see the blood coming out here. Why, why is that so? Just to avoid the air bubbles. So once it's like this, then the doctor will ask the operator to flush. When the operator is flushing it with the saline, so the doctor will press this Y connector valve to avoid the air. When the, any possible potential air comes out, then the doctor will close it to just rotate and pull. Now it's ready. Once you make sure that it's air free and everything is clear now, the interventional wire, how you insert the wire here, so what you will do to avoid damaging the wire, you will first push this valve so that it can be open and insert the needle first, insert the needle first. Once you insert the needle, then insert the wire. If you just first insert the wire and then the needle back, there is a possibility to damage the tip of the wire. So keep the wire inside the needle after you make a shape or if it is already pre-shaped. So then first insert the needle, the wire is inside the needle here, go with the needle and then insert the wire. Make sure when you are there, you can close it again and remove your needle. Now you are ready. So once you are ready, now the doctor wants you to load the balloon over the wire into the Y connector. How you will do it? This is only for educational purpose. That's why I'm using the 3-5 wire, which is bigger in the diameter than the coronary wires actually. Just to show you that how we can load anything over this wire. There is a wire for instance already in the Y connector into the catheter towards the patient into the coronary arteries. This torquer is for the 0.018 millimeter wire which is you can manipulate and just fix it. How you can fix it as I will show you that like insert the wire inside the torquer right loosen it anti-clock and then go clockwise. It will be locked and once it's locked then you can manipulate with this torquer. So, if the doctor asks you to load the balloon, this is the wire inside the Y connector. You can see balloon. 
you will load this is not uh, compatible wire this is just to give an example to show you how it works so once you load the balloon it will go till here once it's here you need to push this y connector to open the valve or to loosen the valve and then insert the balloon the balloon is going in all the way in reaches to the desired destination then lock it once you lock it then it will avoid bleeding from here and this is how it works thank you so much for watching